Hey guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to see all the graphical settings and uh, what is the best combination to make it work on your lower to mid end PCs because higher end it's already you know the highest setting possible. So that's what we are going to see in this video. Let's get on to that. So when you get into the game, press select for uh, joystick if you want to select the settings and it's O letter O button for uh, keyboard. Press that and get to the general settings now to scroll through those options you have to press r1 to just scroll through right and l1 to go towards left options okay so let's go to the graphics options now okay in the graphics option the settings i am using are these right now uh, my settings are i5 4460 then i have 8 gb of ram then i have rx 570 and one terabyte of uh, hdd this is the setup i am using and uh, when I am off stream, you know, when I am not streaming and I play the game, I get around 100 FPS because I have disabled the, you know, the F frame limiter, which we'll talk about. So uh, we will go one by one and we'll see what is the best option for every kind of uh, options available in the graphics settings. Okay. So resolution 1080, if, uh, you know, if it works for you, definitely go for 1080. It's definitely worth the quality because try to try to lower the graphical setting more than the resolution. But if you have a monitor which is not, you know, 1080 or it doesn't uh, get the best quality out of, you know, 1080p, then maybe you can reduce it. But I don't recommend that. But uh, yeah, that's that's the thing. Like 1080 is the best one for the resolution. Coming on to the character details, it's, this is the very important uh, option because you can go for the highest detail, but highest detail always consumes a lot of PC resource. So why I have got with, gone with the high detail is the characters look really good, but it also doesn't consume a lot of, you know, PC resource. So if you go on medium, it becomes, it start to become, you know, uh, lower and lower quality. So the gameplay also doesn't feel like, you know, you are playing a proper uh, latest uh, cricket game kind of a thing. So that is the re reason I don't go, you know, below this high detail. So if you can run this, you have it at high detail, but highest detail I would recommend only for, you know, uh, people who have a good processor and especially GPU who have about around like uh, 1660 Super or 1660 Ti or uh, 2060 and above. So all those people can use highest detail, but generally i would i wouldn't recommend people having 1050 rx 570 like me or 1650 so all those range don't go for highest <clears throat> you can try for high but even then you want like really good fps go for medium but i wouldn't recommend medium because i, I like the graphics settings i i want to see the characters in his full detail <laughs> so that's the thing now coming on to shadow shadows is one which is very uh, another thing which consumes a lot of pc resource so get it so get it on uh, low or medium okay this depends on uh, your own preference because uh, some people would prefer the shadows to be really good some are like it's fine I, as long as the character detail is good i'm happy so this is the thing so shadow contact hardening and these things I have switched it off i don't want those things Anti-aliasing FXA is uh, recommended. TA is another again, you know, this TA is very consuming. Don't switch this off because the anti-aliasing is very important and just make sure you are in the middle range, not going up, you know, towards TA, but be in the FXA. Don't disable it because, you know, it, it, it creates that, you know, soft, uh, uh, soft character model. So all those things, uh, this thing is needed. So FXA on. Okay. Depth of field enabled, again, this is personal preference, doesn't, uh, you know, affect the PC performance too much. So enable or disable your preference. Bloom, again, same thing, but uh, what happens is sometimes the bloom is not, you know, working properly or the light can be glaring at your face through the monitor. So that is the reason I have disabled it. Now light flares is something which you have to, you know, uh, try it out yourself to see whether it works well for you or not, because for me, uh, it does affect the performance a lot so i have come to low quality i haven't disabled it but a few people have said disable this to get more fps but you can try it out maybe do this or uh, do for go for uh, low quality via blue if you go for high quality you need to have a better pc so yeah okay low quality here 
grass detail i haven't seen much difference performance wise so i have just kept it at high i didn't bother much uh, too much into it so sky sky is another thing which is it consumes a lot of pc resource so medium quality so whenever there is an there is you know an option which is in the game and it looks amazing but it consumes lot of resource then i just go for the medium setting not the low because i want to enjoy you know the visuals as well because i am a very visual person so i would like to get those visuals in a wholesome way so that's the reason i have it at medium this doesn't affect it affect it much so again same thing lighting you can try for high but again i want the extra fps to play properly as well but because when i stream the, the performance is degraded again because of the you know extra consumption of the obs and stuff so i have kept it at medium that is the reason otherwise if i had if i had been playing offline like you know when i am not streaming then i would have probably chosen for maybe you know high settings or something but yeah these things things looks good these things work well so that is the reason i am sharing these things with you okay ambient occlusion occlusion is uh, another very uh, you know pc resource heavy kind of an option so just disable it don't don't bother too much into it this full screen borderless or uh, full screen proper full screen is your personal performance we think this is the one which uh, is another thing you have to like you know try it out yourself we think what happens is for me if i we if i disable we think right which i have right done right now if i when i am playing when the graphics are getting like the frame rate is getting low at that point i start getting screen tearing when the vsync is off but vsync is on the performance is even more you know degraded because the the, the pc is already struggling to hold the fps so it's like you know it's like a give and take kind of a thing to make the stream work but if you are just you know a person who just plays the game you know doesn't stream and do anything have the vsync on it is much better and you will get much more smoother performance because right now with all these off stream i am getting like 100 fps okay while playing the match all everything smooth no issues whatsoever all those things working fine but when i stream it gets to like 35 40 fps only it doesn't get to even 60 so the you know the obs actually consumes lot of resource so i have to see what i can do you know to get those to get that balance out basically so that's the thing uh, that's why i disabled uh, vsync but if i ha- if i switch it on then even then the pc will struggle you know to stream so that's the reason i have switched it off frame rate limit is another thing which i have disabled to get maximum frames you have to keep it in mind because when you change this obviously you have to restart the game but when you change this your pc should be capable of holding this frame so if your pc is something which you know consistently gives you 144 go for 144 otherwise don't do that because again when the game has some uh, you know uh, options and you are doing something else when your pc is not capable then there will be a clash and the frame screen tear and stuff will start happening so frame limit if you have a good you know decent like similar to me decent pc like okay ish then go for 60 or 30 don't go above this above is for people who have 16 60 and above 16 60 or not i mean even 20 60 i would say because that's like the range where you get really good uh, frame rate so and consistent frame rates so 30 or 60 in frame limit but right now i had disabled it again because of streaming all right guys and these things again are your own choice gamma and uh, auto letter boxing so this is all the graphical settings which are there so if you copy the same setting it should be really you know f- working fine for you but if you have a really low then go for low detail like completely low everything low or switched off or disabled then uh, you know g- go to the next 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 option and experiment with the settings like one uh, one good thing about this game is it reach starts very fast so you need not worry too much about are yaar i have to switch it off and switch it on again it takes lot of time it's not happening if you start the game it starts within like 3 5 seconds or something like so that is also good so these options if you copy if you have a pc similar to me again i5 4460 8gb and rx 570 just don't worry 
enjoy these settings you will get uh, around uh, 90 to 100 fps if you have disabled vsync but if you dis if you have vsync on but if you have vsync on then you have to you know you have you will be around 60 fps i guess you will get good of good amount of performance for sure so these are the settings guys now another thing if you see all these settings one option is missing in the settings right now which might be all added later i don't know which is the crowd setting so how that is also another you know uh, performance intensive kind of an option so how to change that that is what we'll see now okay also forgot to tell uh, the options to scroll on keyboard you know to the next option is one and three so one is for left and three is for right in the numpad like not the proper numpad the numbers above the alphabets so that is the thing okay now let's get to that crowd option okay okay to get to the crowd option the first thing you have to do is go to this pc then go to c drive all right go to users now select your system name right now here it is adichil that is my pc's name now go to that and go to saved games okay saved games and you will find cricket 22 here okay now open that go to config file this is the file which you know has all the options of the graphic just open that it will open in notepad now in this you will see there is a crowd option here this is crowd option if you have the crowd at high your performance might be affected but if you want to lower it without lowering it in the game you can lower it through this and here just select the value see this zero is off one is low two is medium three is high so here what i will do is i'll go with low and press file and save it now my game will have the lowest graphical settings for crowd which will again increase my performance so yes guys all these things will be helpful just try to experiment with it if your pc is not capable enough to you know perform then try to lower everything and disable everything and then increase one by one and then see how much frame rate is being affected how much is you know getting better or worse and go according to that because mix and match of everything should get you a decent amount of performance but if you have like very normal processor or something don't think that the game will work in your pc because it is a bit you know it it does cater to all the kind of pcs but if your pc is really low i don't think this will run so the so the easiest way to you know check whether it will run on your pc or not is just go to this website pcbenchmark.com all right in that go to can i run if you want to test it automatically press this it will i think download a software or something but i just use this can i run it and i just click this now enter all your details like watch your processor i5 see this all the options will be available select those kind of things you know 16 50 10 50 and stuff can i run it and now press it now it will be show whether you can run it or not okay but i would always recommend you to check it out yourself by you know altering the settings yourself and working out a combination in that okay so thank you for watching guys uh, i hope you guys found this video useful because many people were asking about uh, the graphical settings i was using while streaming so I thought why not make a video on this and I hope you guys uh, you know found this video useful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that and also share it with others so that you know others can also make use of this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.